Good morning, dear trainees. Uh, today I am going to discuss with you one of the important topic of your paper 10, coefficient of correlation through rank difference method. So, in education and psychology, coefficient of correlation is very essential. Because if we want to know the different attributes of individual or abilities of the individual, we have to know the correlation of two sets or between the two subjects. So, there are two methods of computing correlation. One is rank difference method, another is product moment method. The rank difference method is the coefficient of correlation computed by this method is known as rank correlation coefficient as it, as it considers only the rank of the individual. It is popularly known as Spearman coefficient of correlation because this method was developed by Spearman, a psychologist belong to England. So today I am going to discuss the rank difference method or how to find out the coefficient of correlation by using rank difference method. So let us take the example here test 1 and test 2. So first we prepare the table. So see here we put first serial number 1 to 8 and in test 1 the marks are given test 2 marks are given. So here you see R1 it means the rank of test 1. So rank of the test 1 you can see here the highest mark is 22. So 22 is rank 1 then second is 21 he is placed second position then third 20 fourth 19 then 5th is 18, then you see uh, 17 is 6, then uh, 16 is 7, then 15 is 8. Total number is here 8. So this R1 means rank 1, it is of, it is there from test 1. So from test 2, in the similar way, we are calculating the rank of the individual. So here first rank scored by third number of individual 50 1 then 46 2 then 45 3 43 4 then uh, 42 5 then you see here 41 is scored by two individual so we cannot put the two rank as the marks is same so what is the actual position one will be 6 another will be 7 so we have to divide the rank of the two individual and divided by the two. So six plus seven is thirteen divided by two is six point five. Then up to seven rank is gone. Then number eight rank is forty. So this column D means different of uh, R one and R two. Here eight eight zero five five no difference zero one one zero six three here difference three. 440321 7 and here 6.5 difference is 0 0.5 2 and 6.5 4.5 so last column is d square it is the square of this 0 0 0 3 9 0 then 1 1 0 0.5 0 0.25 then it is 20.25 so now uh, sigma d square means summation of the column 30.5 so in this way we first prepare the table I think uh, all of you have understood it the table how we calculate in rank 1 we first find out the rank of test 1 then rank 2 from test 2 then D is the difference of column R1 and R2 then last one is the square of column D now we place the value in the formula so this is the formula you see 
this is not p this is rho rho equal to 1 minus 6 into sigma d square n uh, within bracket n square minus 1 so here uh, 6 into uh, 1 minus 6 into sigma d square is 30.5 30.5 then divided by n is 8 then into 8 square means 64 minus 1 63 8 into 63 then 1 minus 183 divided by 540 then 1 minus 36 equal to 0.64 so here coefficient of correlation is 0.64 so this is in the positive direction we can find out the relationship either in positive or in negative way and relationship is always ranges from 0 to plus minus 1 not above this up to plus minus 1 so i think all of you have understood this so thank you stay home be safe